Hi there, my name is Sherry Boyle and I am filming this from my studio in Toronto. My relationship to the MMFA goes back to around 2006 when I had an exhibition of my very first ceramic sculptures at the power plant in Toronto and the Musée de Beaux-Arts were the first institution with the National Gallery of Canada to really support that series and that work as a very young artist, um, which meant a great deal to me. They acquired Snowball, which was one of my very favorite from that series, um, and it's now in the collection of the Musée de Beaux-Arts. Since then, I've had a strong relationship to the museum, always admiring um, the inclusiveness of their programming and especially admiring the art therapy wing that has just um, been built there. It's a really extraordinary achievement in Canada and something that people can admire internationally for really forward thinking around the ways that art and um, mental health coexist. Here's a small prototype for a work I'm currently busy with called White Elephant. It was commissioned by the Contemporary Art Forum, Kitchener Association, which is a sculpture biennial in the Kitchener-Waterloo area. Um, that's been cancelled for this year, but hopefully it will be back on next summer. And in the meantime, I'm still working on the piece to be included in the Gardner Museum exhibition outside of the Palace of Me. You're seeing different elements. I'm working with various fabricators. And what I have going on right now is a robotics kind of test situation. I'm working with Colin Harry, who is an expert here in Toronto, on the motor and the software. But what we need to test is the balance for the head, which will be spinning. The experience of COVID-19 has affected artists in a really broad way. I think that we're uniquely positioned to understand solitude. Many of our practices um, include a kind of daily self-reflection that comes from a ritual of going to the studio and practicing um, focus and quiet and problem solving. One of the many works that I love in the Musée de Beaux-Arts collection is by Shuvenai Shuna, an artist from Cape Dorset or Kingate up in Nunavut. And she's an amazing drawer and a personal friend. And I've been blessed to collaborate with her in the past. Um, the Musée de Beaux-Arts has a fantastic drawing by Shuvenai called Birthing Scene uh, from 2013. And as you can see, Shuvenai has got some amazing visual ideas that celebrate birth. For the past year, I've been working on a brand new series of artworks commissioned by the Gardner Museum here in Toronto. It's an exhibition to be titled Outside the Palace of Me, but it's not necessarily self-portraiture. The works include animatronics, robotics, large-scale installations, smaller, very intricate porcelain, ceramic, stoneware sculpture, um, and a new series of drawings. Two artists I've been looking at a lot through these past bunch of weeks and for years that have continually inspired me are um, Buffy St. Marie, a uh, Cree singer and songwriter, educator and innovator who continues to move us all with her ongoing decades of work and principled activism. This particular album, Medicine Songs, I find invaluable to keeping my spirits up and reminding me how to um, be brave and to stand up in times of pain and difficulty to support your community. Um, the other artist who I absolutely love is Tove Janssen, and Tove died in 2001. She was a Swedish-speaking Finnish artist, uh, creative polymath and genius, who 
created is best known for her series of um, kind of all ages books, The Moomin Trolls. And those books are incredibly uh, beautiful and soothing and consoling to read um, at any age to children or adults because of their profound humanity and humor and uh, inventive kind of creative sly um, just gentleness uh, but her drawings her life her books everything she touched was such a source of inspiration in particular now um, at a time when we need something to inspire and soothe us